Welcome in here. Thank you so much for joining us. Scott has the night off. He's out on assignment this evening. The bail project strikes back. The charitable bail organization is suing the state in a lawsuit just filed in federal court this morning. The group said a new law discriminates against it and is unconstitutional. 13 Investigates reporter Sierra Putman was able to review the lawsuit before it was filed and then she sat down with the group to dissect the lawsuit. The ACLU of Indiana is taking on the case, arguing Indiana's new law set to go in effect this summer violates the bail project's first and 14th amendment rights. Have you had to sue any other states? We have not. This is our first lawsuit. For months, 13 Investigates has reported on how first the police union and then lawmakers put their sights on regulating the bail project. In March, the governor signed this law. This, this bill, bill is about, about parity. It, it is, is not, not about, about the policy, policy of bail. bail. It, it is, is simply, simply about, about the licensure of those, those posting it. it. The argument, charitable bail organizations needed to be regulated like for-profit bail bondsmen. However, the law went a step further. It also limited groups to only posting cash bail, banning the bail project from freeing people facing a, quote, crime of violence and Hoosiers previously convicted of a crime of violence, no matter how long ago. Other folks, grandmothers, churches, the bail bond industry, everyone else would still be able to operate unfettered. But not charitable bail organizations. As the only one in Indiana, the bail project felt like it was targeted in this law, which is why the ACLU of Indiana is arguing the law violates the group's First Amendment rights. The bail project, unlike the bail bond agent, is engaged in First Amendment advocacy when it posts this cash bail. It's expressive activity, it's, its purpose is to pay bail to demonstrate that you don't should have bail. Ken Falk with the ACLU of Indiana argues the law is discriminatory and violates the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment. With this lawsuit, are you saying you think the state of Indiana should not be able to regulate the bail project and other charitable bail organizations? Th this is hardly regulation. This is a question of an outright prohibition on expressive activity and, and it's it bears re-emphasis that we're talking here about people who a judge has said this person can be released. Going on to call the new law vague and uncertain, even wondering if the bail project's work in other states may bar it from helping Hoosiers because, quote, there is nothing in the law that limits this restriction to the activities of a charitable bail organization in Indiana. And it entrenches two-tier system of justice. It attacks our particular advocacy, but it actually harms the poorest Hoosiers in the community. The bail project is asking for a preliminary injunction while the case moves through the courts, basically asking a judge to not let the law go into effect in July as planned.